Whoa, what the hell's firing at me? What is that? Oh, oh, all right, okay, all right. I'm sorry. My fault, my fault. Sorry, Mr. Space Station. I'm out, later. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and if you notice, we're in a really odd place, and I'm on a really odd craft. That's right, I went ahead and put together a ship for us here. This is the Hornet, as it's called. A pair of Gatling guns in the front, and a very, very fast maneuverable ship. I've landed on this little outpost here, and I think that we need to get in here and blow everyone up and take this place as our own. Enough, enough being passive on this planet. Let's take this place down. Can we get in here? No, we can't. All right, so I have to take down this door. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Just kind of maneuver slightly like this. There we go. Let's mow it down. Yeah! Take that, sucker! Bring it on! The aim on this isn't great, as you can see. Ooh, they are just... They are just kind of like walking out slowly. Take that! You want more? Oh, that's a, that's a spawner in there. We've got to take that out big time. It's going to take quite a few shots, though. All right. Man down. Now, there's one of them kind of lingering around here. Oh, you got some canned vegetables on you, do you? A croghorn. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, this guy's got some medical kits on him. Where'd this guy get to? I know he was around here somewhere. I thought he was. Where the hell did he go? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! What is that? What is firing? Oh, it's a friggin' turret! Friggin' turret inside. Oh, there's another one. Bam! That's how you do it, man. All right. Now, as you could see, you can use your weaponry on your ship to kind of blow holes in places that you need to go. And that's what we're going to have to do. Let's see. We have a elevator here. Can we utilize it? Yes, we can. What might be down here? Hmm. I hear more men. That's for darn sure. i to just take a look around here. Oh, there's one. Down you go, sucker. All right, can we get through these doors? No. We're gonna have to blast it open. There we go. Oh, whoa, hey. Headshots all around. You too. Oh, crap. Luckily, they're not very aggressive. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab anything we can on them. More food, man. These guys have a ton of canned food. Good to know that uh, Earthlings aren't the only people that love canned food. All right, while we're here, let's go and patch ourselves up. We have a ton of small med kits now. Luckily, I've brought plenty of weaponry. Ah, there's the spawner. Take this down. There we go. Spawner down. What is this? Alien container. What could be inside? Oh, like blocks and stuff. What the hell was that? Here's some more people walking around. Ah, another door. Take this door down. There we go. Kind of blow it down the old-fashioned way with brute force. What do we got going on here? Ah. Another container. Anything good in here? Texture tool, a drill. Um, we'll go ahead and grab these. Because all those are actually kind of nice. Ooh, some, some strange, what is this? Oh, is that the core? Yes, it's the core. All right, let's blow this thing away with our sniper rifle. See what kind of damage we can do. Ah! Get there. I thought that would do a lot more damage. All right, it does do damage. Spends a lot of ammo, though. Come on, now. I don't really know how many hit points these cores have. Um, in retrospect, I guess we can go ahead and do it like this. Reload and find out what's inside this. Uh, a cargo box, a core. Ooh, cores are actually pretty hard to find. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Ah, rare ore. 
Nice. There we go. That's how you do it, boys. All right, let's go ahead and plop our own core in here and make this place our own. Have some extra cores just laying around, you know? There we go. Core. Um, I think we press Y. Will this place get, uh, whoa, what the hell was that? All right, now at least we don't have to blow down all these freaking doors. Um, let me go ahead and grab this pistol, reload it. Now we can open up these doors. Let's go ahead and take away this spawner. Ooh, maybe I didn't hit it good enough. Come on now, spawner, get, get down there, get there. Oh crap, ow. Getting good XP for this, that's for damn sure. Oh, 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 hey. What is with this spawner? I'm out of ammo. Okay, something is clearly wrong <laughs> with that spawner. Um, let me see, do you guys have anything useful for me? Got a lot of 5.8 millimeter bullets. Blow, damn it! That sounded weird. Blow! Oh, maybe it's... Oh, maybe I can't destroy it because I now own the base? Uh, I never really thought about that. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Yes, give me all of your delicious ore. Maybe that's what it is. So, oh, I know. I'll bet we can remove it. There we are! That's how it works. Um, although now I don't have very many... Very many bullets, because I wasted a million damn bullets on that place. Is there a rifle in here? Could have sworn maybe there was. If we can grab a rifle, I can go ahead and use that. No, not really. All right. Well, I guess we'll try and snipe people down. What was over here? Oh, we already grabbed all that. That was the ore. Man, I still hear a lot of guys. Not sure exactly where they're at. We could... Cleaned up this whole area. Might be up top. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Anyone left? Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything up there. How about up here? Oh. Oh, there's some guys down, like, hanging around the lower side. What the hell is that? Can that get up here? I don't know what that was, but it was pretty... What the frickin' hell? Sounded like it was right behind us! Freaky. Alright, let's take this guy out. How was that not a headshot? Oh, I'm the- I'm the worst sniper ever. <laughs> okay, so. I think this place now belongs to us. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna use the removal tool to find out exactly what the hell's inside here. Antenna. Decorative. Give me that antenna. Give me all your electronics. What in the world is that? Let's take a look. Whoa. Uh, another piece of uh, an antenna, maybe? There we go. More electronics in there, have you? Okay. I think we've pretty much done everything we need to do here. Anyway, I just wanted to show you real quick about uh, attacking one of these bases... Because this Epsilon place has been a pain in my ass for quite some time. And I've wanted to take it down to Chinatown. So that was kind of nice. It's in the bottom through here. Just kind of head on down. Make my own little holes if I need to. Not, not really sure if there's anything around here that we are missing. Man. Sounds like there's some guys around here, but I'm not really sure where. Head back down. Is anything like... Halfway in the middle of this place? Not really. Bloop. That's our core that we put in. Uh, we got all the way through here. They're probably outside. That's probably what I'm hearing. Let's keep blasting through this place just to double check. There we go. Blast right through this. Ah! Well, how are you doing there, buddy? Ha 
That's how you do it. Give me your food. Okay, I think we've I think we've cleared everything up at this point. Should be the last one. Let's go ahead and Oh no, there's definitely more, but you know what? I don't really care. I mean, pretty much I think we've whipped up everyone nice and good. What is this down here? A little fern? I'm not worried about a fern. Maybe there's something on this side. Now, I know that there was a couple of really powerful aliens that were lingering about. Not sure where they would be. It was like um, overseers. They look like giant... They look like giant spiders. Oh, there we go. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a crawler. Hmm, give me your alien parts. All right, we need to get back to our base and make ourselves up some more ammunition big time. Go ahead and use our jetpack to hop and skip up here. And you'll get an opportunity to see the craft in action. Let me go ahead and take my helmet off. That I don't need it. There we are. This thing is pretty damn fast, though, I will tell you. <laughs> uh, where in the world is our base? The driving in this game is not super easy. <laughs> you will fly left and right in all kinds of different ways. There we go. We're, we're doing pretty good now. You can see the small sh the small vessel in this game is so useful though. Look at how fast we can traverse the area here. Go ahead and land right here next to our base. Ugh. The base is doing pretty good. Everything's basically the same. I don't think anything's changed since the last time we've been here. We do need to get a bigger constructor though. Go ahead and put all that there. We've got some extra ores here that we can start making these different um, ing ingots with. So we're going to want to do that for sure. Get rid of all this glass and get rid of these metal pieces. We don't have a lot of bullets left, so we have to make sure to go ahead and craft a bunch more of those. We don't need the metal plates. Look at all these medical kits we have. Seven medical kits. That's awesome. Actually, oh, look at how many small medical kits we have. How long do they stack? 24, wow. Got a lot of anecdote pills as well. We don't really need to use any of these kits though because we can head up here to our little medical station. That'll get our health level up just like that there. We've got so much food that I don't mind eating some of it. In fact, we should probably put these cans Right about here, so that we always have something easy to grab and eat. There we are. Get our food up. And our garden should be doing pretty good. We should be able to hop. Let me see if I can get there. Uh, no, not really. How about over here? There we go. Just kind of hop up here. There's our garden. Got some pumpkins growing. The space durians. They're basically tomatoes, I guess, doing well. You're going to notice in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen... You get a lot of XP for planting stuff, so I would highly suggest that you do it. Put all these in here so we can make more, should we need to. More food, but man, we have a ton of food. Now, some people have said that the fridge completely halts the perishing of food, and some have said that it just slows perishing down, like, a lot. I don't really know what the right answer is. How's our... How's our turret doing still has plenty of ammo not worried about that at all I'm not really sure what the correct answer is on that if it just slows stuff down it slows it down so far that I cannot I mean there, there's nothing I can't even tell the difference let's make a ton of 50 cal I don't know if we need that many um, yeah we'll make plenty of 50 cal we also need to make plenty of we need to make plenty of everything we need the 12.5 millimeter bullets because that's what our sniper rifle uses. So we'll go make a bunch of those. We need 15 millimeter bullets for the mini guns on our ship. So we'll make more of those too. Something that we have to start looking into. And I wanted to get you guys to tell me kind of where you want to go with this. Is we need to start getting uh, an idea of what kind of a capital ship we want to do. Let me go over here to the factory real quick. And show you some of the potential ones that we have. So what I went ahead and got was the Hornet. This is a blueprint right here. It does not take many ingots at all. You guys could make this super easy and it will give you a ship to kind of move around the top side of the, the surface side of any planet. And you can go into space with that, with this. I might actually show you guys that. 
Here's what I'm thinking about for a capital ship, this Hacken. It's a big ship, but the the ingot amount isn't really terrible. I mean, obviously it's almost, what, 10,000 ingots, probably. But if you look at some of the other ones here, they're actually a lot, a lot heavier. <laughs> look at Atlantis here. Oh my God. It's like 50,000 ingots or something like that. There's a smaller... There's a smaller one here, the Polaris. That requires very little ingots for a capital vessel. It's obviously a lot smaller than the Hakon. I'm not really sure which one is better, so to speak. I just figure I'd let you guys tell me if there's a particular capital ship you, you would like to see. And I will go ahead and make that one if you're interested in it. While we're here... Something always to do is to make sure that your fuel tank has plenty of fuel packs. I've got a ton of hydrogen packs, and I'm using large fuel packs for the hydrogen dispenser at this point. While we're, while we're filling everything up with fuel packs, let's go ahead and fill up our spacecraft as well. Go ahead and fill that up with hydrogen. I use hydrogen for just about everything except for the hydrogen generator itself. I don't even run the water generator anymore um or i'm sorry the o2 generator i don't even run this anymore because quite honestly this h2o2 generator makes plenty of o2 bottles i have a giant surplus of them as you can see right here we've got plenty of those i'm gonna put those bullets in there as well let's go check out make sure that we have enough weaponry so that we can get back out into the fray should we need to eh, 150 bullets that's not too bad definitely going to need to make plenty more of those just leave it going for right now i'll go ahead and show you guys space real fast go ahead and jump up in here turn this thing on with y there we go um oops there we are so space final frontier show you guys how it goes we're just going to point straight up and we are going to fire ourselves up and out of the atmosphere you can see in the bottom right hand side of the screen it says distance to orbit so in just a moment here we will be breaking the orbit about 300 meters into the 200s now just want to make sure i'm heading like straight up instead of at an angle says we've got about 16 minutes left of fuel, but I have a ton of fuel packs, so I'm not at all worried about not having enough fuel. I think I'm kind of heading in an odd direction here. There we go. Ah, there we are. Now we just broke the orbit. Now, once you're up and out of the orbit, you can kind of take a look around you here. If we look back to where we came, there is our planet that we just came from. There's an asteroid field all around here. Sometimes you can find some different ores and stuff in this asteroid field you're also going to notice that the speed that you move in space is quite a bit faster than it is on the planets now i haven't actually done any asteroid mining so i can't say that i'm 100 percent sure how it works let's see if we get a little bit closer to these asteroids if we find any of them having any specific resources on them i know there's a couple behind us not really sure if there's any immediately around us like if i shoot this asteroid what happens I'm not, even, I'm not even sure if i'm close enough to shoot it Eh, really nothing looks like there might be something over here though let's go check this out before we head back down to the the planet oh there's a station up here let's check out this station is this an enemy station or is this a good station it looks like a good station I'd like to actually at least see what they have. We do have an enemy kind of to our left, if you notice, on the 360 degree minimap. All right, we're coming up on the station pretty hot. I don't really know where to dock. Requesting permission to dock. What is that? Huh, I don't know what that is. It's kind of just take a look around this station here sweep it like a, a little angular area like this maybe oh can you dock can you dock up here what is this let's take a look Ugh. 
Not the best landing I've ever done. We're definitely going to want to put our helmet on for this. And if I get out, am I going to live? Yeah. There we go. No problems. Wrong faction or no core present. So I can't get in this, I guess? I guess not. Huh. You can see there's... Whoa, what the hell's firing at me? What is that? Oh! Oh, alright, okay, alright. I'm sorry. My fault. My fault. Sorry, Mr. Space Station. I'm out. Later. <laughs> okay, so apparently that space station does not enjoy us hanging out on it. Good to know. I guess we'll uh, just go back to base, figure out what to do next. There are a huge amount of different things for us to check out, though. That's for darn sure. Where are we? I think we're at the drone the drone area. Let's go ahead and pull up our mini-map real quick and find out exactly where we are so we can fly back to base. Oh, boy. Let's see. Big ass. This is a big ass planet, guys. Good gravy. Wish you could make waypoints. Oh, I found a silicon deposit just wandering around. Uh, where the hell is our base? Good gravy. Oh, there it is. Oh, we're actually... We're actually not too far from it. Ah! Whack! I just hit the... <laughs> I just hit the wall. Alright. Let's go ahead and hit the map again. See if we can find out exactly how we need to get back home. I think we're right on line. Eh, almost. Alright. I'm gonna head on home, guys. There are, like I said, plenty more different points of interest that we can go ahead and raid. As you saw when we scavenged the Titan, there's still another part of the Titan. Actually, there might be two parts of the Titan. There might be another uh, mid part and a front part, I do believe. So we can go... Ah! Jesus! All right, going around that that particular Epsilon station. I'd rather not have you guys firing at me. Whoa, you can see we are taking fire in all kinds of different directions. Holy crap. Jesus. Man, you guys really want a piece of me, don't you? All right, guys, we made it back to base. Let me know what you think we should do next. Like I said, there's still plenty to craft and plenty to see. Even on just this planet, we do need a capital ship so that we can utilize the warp drive to go to different systems. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.